Throughout the decades, the Royal Navy's submarines have been providing constant protection to the UK at sea, patrolling the waters all year round. And a vital component of these vessels, periscopes and laterally optronic masts, designed and built here in Glasgow. One of the great advantages that an optronics mast can give a, you have that command can have more than one set of eyes uh, looking out of the submarine, whereas traditionally on a periscope you would have one operator with eyes uh, on a true optical path. Multiple people can sit over the shoulder of the operator and observe uh, the above water scenario. But one of the great advantages is minimizing the amount of time that you can collect the above water uh, picture and then conduct analysis with, once the mast is lowered. We operate this function known as a quick look round or a QLR, where the op mast will be lowered, submarine will be going along, command will give the, uh, the order to conduct a QLR, and all the operator will have to do is invoke the procedure. The mast will then automatically raise itself, spin around and take the entire horizon, and then lower itself. Once the mast is then lowered, it then presents the, this as a series of images, demonstrating the entire 360 image that command can then analyze with the mast lowered. When the mast is lowered, your risk of counter detection is much lower. If you have the mast above the surface, there is a chance that it can be spotted, uh, be that optically or through radar. This particular business is actually the oldest part of Talus in the UK. It was originally founded in 1888 when two professors, Baron Stroud, spotted an advert in a journal for a rangefinder for the British Army. They responded to that, won the contract. It's the site of the former Stephen Shipbard, so a big part of Glasgow and the UK's and Scotland's industrial heritage. Here's one of the examples of our very earliest periscopes. We've developed that technology for over a hundred years, including introducing thermal imaging into the, into the periscope. Largely, we've gone to optronics mass, which reduces the hull penetrating element. And of course, we're right in the middle of executing a contract to develop the next generation of optronics mass initially for the dreadnought submarine and hopefully become a candidate for use across the whole of the flotilla. Every Royal Navy submarine since 1917 has been fitted with a periscope or optronic mast built by the Clyde. For more than a century, this site has been making the eyes at sea for the Royal Navy submarines across both world wars, throughout the Cold War, right up until the modern day. HMS Astute has got two visual payloads, a starboard non-hull penetrating mast and a port non-hull penetrating mast. The starboard centre head has got a thermal imager and a high definition colour. The port removes the thermal imager and incorporates an image intensifier. What that means is that the submarine command has got night vision capability. This is a, a relatively straightforward motion platform which enables us to mimic a submarine going through the sea and the effect it would have if there was no stabilisation. This is how the operator would view and try to control that using the joystick it's actually very difficult. However, with a single press of a button, we get stable imagery, no matter how the motion platform is exercising the payload. The design and manufacturing of these essential devices requires great expertise with the company calling on generations of experience from both civilians and former submariners. Well, the way that we serve is basically, if a submarine comes back alongside and it's got a defect on its visual systems, they expect us to fix it. Now, as a sailor, who came back alongside with the defect, I expect that civvy guy to come and fix it for us because he is the expert. So as that civvy guy, I know what the sailor expects from us. And so what we want to do is deliver the best possible service we can to him so that he can then deliver the best possible service to the country and the rest of his shipmates. The team here have been critical in helping the Navy carry out the UK's longest sustained military mission. David Sivils-McCann, BFBS Forces News, Glasgow.
Thanks for watching. For more from BFBS Forces News, like and subscribe to our channel.